<laughs> it legit looks like I'm naked right now. I'm, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Um, hello everyone. <laughs> what an introduction. Um, hi, welcome back to another vlog. I'm not naked, I'm just wearing a boob tube top. Just felt like wearing one today because it's starting to get a little bit warmer now, I'm not gonna lie. But hi, hello, it's another vlog. Welcome back. Last week wasn't very, wasn't very good, was it? But it's a fresh week. And I'm gonna try and stay positive. It's too much to discuss what's going on, but I'm in talks at looking at somewhere else. It's just I'll explain what's gonna going on later in the week because I really don't know myself what's going on right now, but I'm going to have a chat tomorrow um with the people and we'll go from there. Yeah, welcome back to another vlog. I hope you guys are well. I hope you're doing okay. I don't like to ask all the time, but I just like to put this at the beginning of my vlogs. But if you could please subscribe and like to this video, it would mean a hell of a lot. You're gonna shout at me? You're gonna <laughs> you're gonna shout at me because I started opening a parcel <laughs> without you. Without you? We don't do that. I don't open parcels without you. I started opening it and then I was like what am I doing? What are you doing? I've got to do it with you guys. Um, so, and yet another new release is coming from Do Even. I, look, I can't keep up. I can't keep up with these new releases. They are killing me, but in a good way. Killing me in a good way. Um, some of the stuff I can't show you. I just double checked this time. Uh, yeah, some of the stuff I can't show you, but I'm pretty sure I can show you. Also, they sent me some socks. These are already out, which is super, super cute. Little pastel blue Do You Even socks. Love that. Bringing out a new range <laughs> called the Motion Seamless range and the colours. I'm telling you, I can't deal. I can't deal. We've got shorts and a sports bra. Look. Oh, you can't see because it's so bright. Hold on. Can you see that? It's like, it's like a, an aqua colour, like a turquoise colour. Um, it's called the Motion Seamless range because obviously it's seamless and I've got the matching sports bra to go with that I am going to try it on in a second So I've got sports bras to match that and then They're also bringing it out. I think they're bringing it out in either I want to say three or four colors I know there's a pink as well, but I ordered the turquoise and then this other blue. It's like a lilac-y blue yeah, that is quite like a lilac boot. They feel such good quality. Last week's vlog, when I was trying on my other Do You Even stuff, when I was, <laughs> when I was editing it and watching it back, I realised that I wasn't really wearing the right underwear to be trying stuff on. Um, and a camel may have appeared. May? I'm not... I mean, it wasn't like a full camel, but there was, there was some form of hump. <laughs> <laughs> lady lumps um, yeah there's some sort of a uh, camel going on but anyway you'll be happy to know I'm wearing the right underwear today so we can try stuff on I'm gonna try these on now I am obsessed I can't really can see I am obsessed this oh the back of this sports bra is so bloody cute look at the crisscross back the label sticking out there. I love the way this sports bra sits. It's differently. I don't know how or why, but this this upper neck bit is sitting differently than normal sports bras, and I love it. And it's all ribbed here. Don't know if you can see that, but it's all ribbed material. It's got the logo on the front. This is. A, I'm gonna have to turn the camera around. I am obsessed. Look, the color. The color. Honestly, this is so nice. Honestly. This might be one of my new favourite sets. This is cute. Cute. I'm gonna try the blue one on now as well. Guys, these colours, I think the camera's ever so slightly tilted, but these colours and the, these, the, the quality of these sets is nice. It's got contour under the bum, I think. Yeah, it's got ribbed contour under the bum. The back of it, the back of the sports bra, I think these are going to end up being one of my new favourite sets from Do You Even, I'm not going to lie, I love. 
I'm gonna go and do some meal prepping now, which I will take you along with me because we're surprisingly we're not doing tuna pasta salad. And the reason being, some of you will already know because you follow me on Instagram, but um, last week me and Andy watched. Uh, it's called Sea Spiracy. It's a documentary. If you don't, if you guys don't know, I was pescatarian beforehand. It was actually a documentary that stopped me from eating meat. Funnily enough, it's a documentary that has now stopped me from eating fish and I am now going full veggie. So I thought I'd take you guys kind of a, like along the ride because a lot of people say they struggle to get the protein in with being veggie. Um, so I'll let you know and see how I get Okay, so do you know something? How bad is this, right? It's 10 to 2 and I haven't eaten anything today. I get like this when my anxiety is all over the place. I'm either eating and you can't stop me and I'm eating too much or I'm the complete opposite and I can't eat and I struggle to eat because I feel sick because I'm anxious and that is where I'm at today. However, we're going to meal prep my lunches or din- uh, yeah, I'd say some more. It could be a lunch or a dinner. Um, this is where it's a game changer because obviously, yes, it might be a little bit harder to get your protein in as a vegetarian. We shall see. We'll put that to the test. However, things like this are lifesavers. So this is red lentil pasta, penne pasta from Sainsbury's. Per serving protein in this, 25 grams of protein just in the pasta. Got two bags of this. I'm going to cook both of them. Um, I've got some green beans that I'm going to throw in. I've got some uh, tomato and herb lighter sauce bolognese. And then also I'm going to put some corn pieces in as well to kind of up the protein for it as well. Right, the pasta is done. I just need to drain the water. I've got the corn pieces cooking in some um, garlic and chilli. Uh, I'm going to add the sauce to that in a second so they can cook properly. Then the green beans, I'm being super lazy but I always do this. Um, I've chopped them up into little pieces and then I've put some boiling hot water from the kettle and then I'm just going to pop them in the microwave to soften. Right, so this is the pasta cooked. Um, I've just separated the green beans. I mean, I could have put it in with the sauce but I just wanted to measure how many green beans were going in so I didn't. Um, in here is the pasta sauce. Uh, sweet corn and corn pieces. I'm now gonna lay it on. I know this sounds really OTT, but it's just so I know how much of each is in what. But I'll basically scoop like five to six pieces each time of corn, so I know that there's an equal amount of um, pieces of corn in here. And then after that, I'll just ladle all the sauce and measure that out as well. Here we have the finished result it actually looks really tasty i don't know if you guys agree the red lentil pasta does taste different to normal pasta i will say that but when you add sauce and stuff like that over it literally you can barely tell the difference in total in here is 39 grams of protein which is really really good as someone who is vegetarian and needs to try and get their protein in uh, there's 66 grams of carbohydrates, only 5 grams of fat, and in total it comes to 498 calories. Um, so this would definitely sit you for either your lunch or your dinner. That is my vegetarian high protein pasta dish. So I'm just having my dinner now, which is the pasta dish that I prepped before. I'll either have this for my lunch or my dinner. So depending on what's happening tomorrow, I might end up having one of these for my lunch. Or, uh, for example, this evening I had my lunch, I had something different for my lunch today, so I'm having this for my dinner. I put some, whoa, nearly lost it, oh my god. I put some grated cheese on top, also added a bit of that um, buffalo sauce. You know when I made those cauliflower buffalo wings, the, um, it's just called the buffalo sauce by the sauce shop, it's absolutely amazing. But yeah, this is my dinner. It's so weird that it's nearly 7 o'clock. And it's really sunny outside. It's obviously because the clocks have gone forward. Forward or backwards? I think it's forward. But it's just strange it being like really bright and the sun's still out at this time. I don't know. It's weird. Um, but yeah, 7 o'clock now. I've got class in half an hour. Online class. Today, it's not been terrible. It's not been terrible. But because of, because of the situation that I'm in, any spare time, any at any point if I'm not occupying my mind or distracting my brain like the situation that i'm in obviously if you watch last week's vlog is like constantly ticking over in my head all the time like I'm, it's constantly on my mind and i can't get it out 
it's still constant on my mind no matter what I'm doing. I can always feel it in the back of my head. Like, I'm subconsciously thinking about it every second, every day, every hour because I just don't know what position I'm going to be in with my business and that is scaring me. And it's also scaring me what position I'm going to be in financially. I don't know if any of you guys have suffered with anxiety before, but, like, there's just this constant pressure on my, ch like, as though someone's pushing on my chest at the minute. Like, as, like, like, as though I can't breathe properly. Um, and I get like that, like, I'm not panicking because I know that's normal for me when I get really bad anxiety. Like, I struggle to take deep breaths. I feel like there's constant pressure on my chest. And I do a lot of that. Um, me and Andy on Thursday, we don't know where yet. We've obviously got to stay within, um, England. But we're going to go on a hike up a mountain somewhere. So that's going to be interesting, especially as a type 1 diabetic. But yeah, been up and down today. Been up and down. Not really felt that productive. I did do my meal prep, but other than that, I felt like I've just spent the rest of the day stressing, worrying, flapping. And trying on some new gym clothes. I play me fishies. I play me fishies. And catch one. Good morning, everybody. You know what's weird? I always say good morning to you, but it's still the same vlog for you. You're still watching this. It's not a new day for you, but that's just how I start my vlogs up. I just wish you wish you good morning. I say good morning to you. Put some of this on my face last night. Again, the um, Bondi Sands Sleep Tan Mask. And as you can see, got a pleasant glow to my face. I always find it sits better after you wash your face. So when I woke up this morning, it was a little bit more tanned than usual but once you do one wash on your face it kind of evens it out so <clears throat> um today i believe is supposed to be one of the hottest days so far this year it says that it's going to be 21 degrees let me just double check that it's gonna be 20 degrees today apparently we shall see that's barbecue whatever that is there's a big bloody sun as well today uh, i'm gonna go and have that meeting in regards to a place that i might potentially be using and then I think I'm just gonna enjoy the sun. Also guys, how exciting is this? Um, a company contacted me in regards to sending me a, you know one of those massage guns? And it's like do 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 do. Um, weirdly enough, Andy like had been saying to me, do you not know any companies that will send you one? And I said, like, I'm not gonna ask for stuff. Like companies contact me and that's it. Like if they wanna send me something, they'll contact me. And then literally, a couple of weeks later, this company contacted me and it was a massage gun and they posted me one out, which I'm really excited about. So hopefully it arrives in this week's vlog and I can test it out. But it's good for like if you've got really tight sore muscles. So we shall put it to the test. I'm actually really digging this outfit that I've got on today. So these are this is one of the sweatshirts that I got from um, Nasty Gal. I still didn't film a haul. I didn't end up doing that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll try and show you a few bits throughout my vlogs, but this is another sweatshirt that I ordered. Uh, and then I've paired it with the Women's Best Power Shorts. And it's just like a cute little, just cute little outfit. My nerves at the minute, I just feel sick. I don't know what's going on in life. I don't know what's happening right now. And that, that's that. I, do, I don't, I just don't know where I'm at. I thought, I thought I did. And now a huge curveball has been thrown in. I keep talking about this. Sorry, I'm going to stop talking about my life problems at the minute. This isn't what this vlog is for. But um, I'll chat to you guys. It's so sunny today. So sunny. You can't even see it. It's that sunny. Yeah. So I've been back home for about an hour now. Um, it went well. I'm not going to reveal too much yet. But the place that I looked at... Which I, I'm not gonna jinx anything. I'm not gonna jinx anything because anything could happen. Um, and nothing is set in stone yet, but. Yeah. Night is normally, you guys know what night Tuesday night is, but I don't think tonight is gonna be snow piercing. It wasn't snow piercing night last week either. Um, 
I normally mean Andy watch on a Tuesday and there's actually two episodes tonight of Snowpiercer. However, Andy's football's started back and he's not going to be home till late. So I don't think Snowpiercer night is going to be tonight. So I think we're planning on doing Snowpiercer night on Thursday. And it's going to be the final two episodes of the season and that's it. There's going to be sno no more sno Snowpiercer night. It's just going to be normal Tuesday night. I haven't... Oh my lord. No, 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 no. Guys, you should have seen the size of that bee. <gasps> Still there. What? <sighs> See, this is the this is the disadvantage of having like a forest behind the back of your house. It's lovely having the, the doors open like this when it's sunny, but you should have seen the size of that bee then. It was huge. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not talking to you. This week's vlog seems very pointless. There's just, there's not much going on to be honest. However, an exciting parcel arrived today. Uh, a company called, I think it's called Physion. Look a little brief, ad, you can't see this. What? It's like a little briefcase, so sick. I feel like Andy's more excited about this than I am. I know, I know. Look, it's like a little like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but. Are you, are you bothered about this, are you? Yeah. There's like loads of different like heads that come with it. There's four, five, five? Ooh, There's there. like five different heads that come with it. And I'm gonna read some of the instructions now. There's not, not, not great instructions in there to be honest. I would have liked an explanation as to what head does what. Sort of, oh, Should I turn it down or do you want it? Uh, yeah, turn it down. <laughs> I can see how that would help if you had some muscles, like I actually can. Like that would be, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Because you got so much caffeine on your ass. Start on 10. <laughs> oh, I'll turn it down. Turn it down. It's really, That's five. It's really ticklish. I can't. It's fine. Do you not find that really ticklish? No. Be nice. <laughs> you cracked it up. <laughs> it's horrible. Sometimes get tight forearms. Mm. Uh -huh. yes. So that'd be, that'd be nice. I don't, I don't have them now, but yeah, I can imagine when I've got tight forearms after I've done that. Yeah, that that would feel nice. Um, review on this. It's actually really, really good. Really good. Uh, by the company Physion, as I said, um, it was gifted to me. Thank you very much, Physion. Um, and there is more instructions on the website as to what all the different heads do. But when I start back at the gym and I'm getting some muscles, this is going to be an actual lifesaver. Cheers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just stuck the beer on the back of my thingy. Um, oh, I've got a cotton side of my mouth. That's not very good. Oh! <laughs> I'm having a copper burg. I've had one of these in ages. They probably don't you dare. It's probably not that great for people with diabetes, right. but. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! <laughs> oh, bald. Oh, actually, I do look a little bit bald. Good morning, everybody. Bald Today is Friday, so I actually filmed the ending of my vlog yesterday because I thought I was going to close it off there. We were supposed to go on a long up mountain walk yesterday. Mountain, mountain, <laughs> mountain walk yesterday, but we did. But we didn't. But today we're going on. It's a bit of a cliff walk, it's like a hill walk, it's nothing like major, but just thought I'd take you along. So I did actually say goodbye yesterday, but let's say goodbye today instead after we've done our walk. Um, yeah, we were going to climb the highest mountain in England. Uh, yeah, we were going to. No, I didn't bail that, we just had things to do, which on another note, I did tell you this yesterday, but you're not now not going to see that part because you're going to see this bit instead. But I finally secured a place for my dance school. <laughs> Oh, and it's like a proper, I'm not hiring a hall, I'm not hiring like um, a place that other people use. It's going to be like my own little dance studio space and I'm going to be able to have my logo outside in front of the whole village to see. Um, 
So and I'm gonna take you along the way of like creating the little studio space and showing you guys um, It's very exciting some very exciting news and it was only official yesterday and I did tell you yesterday But as I said, I um, closed off the vlog today instead Cuando dice que me quieres, no sé Que está con otras mujeres, no sé Ese nudo en la garganta me acompaña Yo no soy bobo y ya sé que me engañas Estás loco llamándome Rompió el cel pa' no contestarte Mientras hay otra en tu cama Nunca pude imaginarme Que era así estar con vos Merecí la lección Ahora ya no quiero Pisca todo tu cuero y nada De te amo forever Con tu inglés malo Dejar de ti pa' mí sería un regalo Ya No tendré nadie como tú Vivir esa latitud No sé que me quieres don't go near it. Ooh. That makes me feel sick. Andy, don't get closer. Don't get close, please. Stop. Leave away. Don't care. Come away, please. I don't care. On a serious note, please don't go near the edge. I don't care if there's grass on there. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. I don't want to go there. <laughs> uh, okay, I can, I can go, okay, I'll be so <laughs> yeah, but still, it's still, you would roll and then keep rolling off. I don't like that. Well, it is nice up here though. And there's horses and sheep over there. I just don't like it. I'm not looking. I, I, I literally am not looking right now. I can't look. <laughs> Stuff like this scares me. Where's the hair, my camera? Get it out. I don't know if there's a mark on the camera now. <laughs> God knows what you guys are seeing right now. My shiny. And they say what you smell. <laughs> I feel like I could be in a music video. But I think I was hung. We got a little word of our own. I'm getting dizzy. Oh, there it is. Is it all of it? Oh, me. oh snap. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I think I'm gonna scratch my pleasant back though on those bikes. <laughs> Yeah, Luke likes like that, doesn't he? <laughs> it's so cool. There's horses on the walk. Look! Don't get into that monkey bear. Um, we've just got back from our walk. It was actually a really cute walk. It was called Hellsby Hill. Um, and then as you walked around to come back on yourself, there's like a little farm where you could stroke all the animals and stuff like that. My battery is about to go any second, so I am going to sign out the vlog here. But as usual, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't feel like it's been as eventful as normal, but I have been stressed out a lot this week and been trying to sort the dance school thing. Um, but now I have it sorted. And yeah. I will see you all in my next vlog. Andy, do you have anything to say? Thank you for watching Andy's vlog. No. <laughs> no. Guys, see you later.